Okay guys, here we go, we have uh, another video of my challenge, this time a solo. Uh, the challenge was uh, beat uh, Malwarfare with Propagators and Heroes from the Storm and you can use only Zerg Commanders. So Zero did play Abatur. Uh, I also got two interesting replays from 2-2. Two -two. He also did solo Abatur and the Haka, but this time I think if uh, he sent me more replay from more challenges, I will cast him some other time. I will mention something that he did. Uh, but uh, now I decided zero because he did it in kind of a uh, conventional way. So he is luring. You need to get that fast Brutalisk. <coughs> okay. We have... Uh, He's going here, then we have uh, he goes here while getting uh, his first uh, roach. Uh, okay, so three. Okay, I don't think it's it's required the three of these. Uh, a little bit of mending. Oh, 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 he detonated all of them. Probably didn't see if he control group them, but yeah. For that reason, I zero is much uh, better player than I am, but uh, I like to use the the options, uh, gameplay, and then disable this, so I can actually select toxic nets beneath enemy units, uh, and not not selecting enemy units, which would ruin my uh, lure. So he's going here, okay, he doesn't want to waste any more many toxic, okay, this is I think a little bit on overkill, but okay, he's got a Brutalisk at like around 220, which is pretty good, and now he'll be going to get this, and you don't want to waste too many toxic, you need them for fighting props later when they come, okay, the, oh, again, all of them, <laughs> okay, better be safe than sorry, okay, now he goes to clear this and now the first three toxic nest over here toxic nest deal 200 damage pro propagator has uh, 450 hp so what z what 2 2 did over here is actually he uh, he did kind of better luring over here he got uh, all of these in at once to get uh, both uh, both uh, i think zero miss came on a unit here or there because he doesn't have uh, two brutalisks yet Okay, unfortunately this prop spawned here, but went for toxic networks and also structures, but they are indetectable, so it cannot prop them, so it'll just die to them. <laughs> and, uh, okay, <coughs> now uh, he has two brutes. Now what 2-2 uh, two did here is uh, get actually, I think, only only 18 points in toxic nest, so he can have the rest of them in mend, which allowed him still to two shot uh, aberrations and three shot uh, props. Uh, but Zero didn't go for this. A two brutal is more than enough to kill Raynor. Now kill this. You wanna kill all these structures that are close, so you can uh, make sure that the props will not spawn like that that close. He's taking this expansion, which is easier to defend because if aim on C is your expansion over here and prop spawns from this circle here, this indestructible structure. Then it might get, go here and prop your stuff, and uh, if you have expansion here, then this is the closest structure, so uh, that they can see, so they will all come here and jack get jacked, get killed by this uh, toxic nests. Okay, two, two uh, brutalists are here. I believe third roach is on the way, but should be here already. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's all almost a brutalisk. I think it will be Brutalisk when it collects these. Not yet, okay. Uh, one, one biomass missing. No, okay, now we have uh, Tychus and the Haka. Zerglings will not y yield more biomass if killed by Toxic Nests. Okay, there's now three Brutalisks. Pulling back a little bit to, to use these Toxics to do some more damage to the Haka. And now I'll be killing this. Now there is another wave. I believe this one came without heroes. Not all will have uh, heroes. Here another propagator coming. 
Okay, so he has Queen healing done, which is uh, good because you need, you will need heal their brutalist. Okay, we have one queen is over here. Unfortunately, it's been targeted by this monolith, but okay, seems it will survive. Karax also wanted to focus down. There is still one monolith over here. Okay, unfortunately, this tower can actually. He did, yeah. <laughs> uh, he did these towers. Okay, actually, uh, these toxic actually survive. Okay, some mending and. Uh, and there, there we go. Okay, now. He goes here. And uh, even without mutators, I often do this. What well, most people would do, the, a mistake is that uh, killing towers immediately. Towers can buy you time because it's uh, it's paused while tower is uh, tower is uh, active, so it buys you time. You just don't want to let it go below 3,000, so it will around like 4,000 till. Uh, start rapid firing okay a little bit resume from replay i was thinking should i include it but i think two two did it did it too so uh yeah a little bit resuming from replay because he did it on magura's map of course okay i think now it would be kind of time to start working on this tower not to let this go below 3000 hp and i think he will manage to do that so he cleared the most of these i think on this spore crawl crawler remaining now we have a spire already plus one going here for the future leviathans over here and there is uh, okay another one leviathan is already here get three queens are here sometimes queens are a waste of biomass i mean i build at most two but in this case like need a lot of healing you don't want to lose your brutalisk so uh, it's okay to have four queens. You can see that these probes will yet kill some of the toxic nest. Will respond. They have 60%. Okay, well now we have Nova 60% chance to respond, so that's also pretty good. Okay, we have Zagara here, and now we also have one Viper already, which is good. Nova can nuke, so those abilities that are not energy based can be used, like uh, nuke and apocalypse. But Nova cannot snipe. Now she snipes when he, she's uh, and she managed to kill a queen or uh, even two two queens, but okay, didn't kill any of ultimate evolutions, which is good. Now these queens will get biomass. Now we have two vipers, which is good, and all three, I believe, no, two leviathans. I believe he actually deactivated so viper doesn't become leviathan mutalisk. Should be Leviathans, Vipers cost a lot, and he was he is tunneling horror, so Vipers cost even more, uh, they cost uh, 250 uh, gas, which is uh, a lot, you can see it, no, to whom is, oh no, he's actually P1, oh, sorry, sorry guys, he didn't go tunneling horror, yeah, sorry guys, yeah, it's better to go P -P, uh, P1, P0, sorry, <coughs> Okay, uh, so unfortunately he now has to go back because there is a... Okay, it would be bad if this toxicness got killed before or uh, activated before the prop came. It will make a lot of roaches. Okay, I guess it's good to have a spare brutalisk or uh, things to slow down your uh, opponents, especially like heroes. But I don't know. I usually don't like to get a lot of... Okay, as you see, this prop is now going for Toxic Nest. Okay, blinding, disabling clown, and this. Okay, a little bit damage from this thing, but... Uh, propagators cannot prop... Uh, heroes can attack this. Uh, propagators cannot prop this uh, uh, Orana, so you don't have to worry that they will kill her. You have to be okay. He's going Ravager, so that's why I chose... His replay because uh, two two doesn't like uh, uh, ravagers because it messes up with like uh, subgroups and hotkeys with his vipers, but that's uh, kind of pretty hard to uh, control. As you can see, that he has vipers in separate uh, uh, group, and 
because now we have like vipers are priority if you all have all in the same group and then come ravagers and then brutalisks uh, so that's the that oh something got pooped but fortunately he noticed okay i don't know what got pooped i think so, some roaches got pooped actually okay he is now abducting a lot of stuff here he has already four vipers which is good number i would actually go even later maybe even uh for more but four is okay uh what two two did is he is his run he was on three vipers and that was not enough he, he suffered late game a lot because he didn't make enough he had a lot of guardians and devourers uh, but i would have gone in his case especially because he was going full air he i would have uh, gone for like five or six vipers uh yeah they're still even six to eight eight but we can uh too much as they're expensive but uh, and they do not do a lot of damage or support even but six would be okay number but four you definitely need at least four wipers like three is not enough and i think that was a pretty big mistake for uh, the two, two did he, he did win but uh, had a lot of problems a uh, late game because he didn't have enough okay what did, did this actually probe that this was kind of bugle some kind of glitch here I don't know why actually these suddenly become or maybe he plays them if he, they were not complete yet I didn't actually see properly okay no bonus none of these runs that I, I uh, got went for bonuses okay he actually did get uh, these and here and I think it was not required it was better to clear these buildings and then even if propagator spawns from here it would it would go over here but then you have to keep this thing like in the middle so it doesn't get pooped over here but okay i mean this is also good if something spawns here not much not much will spawn from here so they have these toxicness plus a few spine okay oh this was close okay so he chose to go okay ravagers good thing about ravagers are they are cheap but you can see now that he has uh okay two groups i think maybe adding more but he he gets the vipers in a separate control group and it should sounds kind of easy but it's not easy to do multiple control groups while be, being careful of your uh that your uh reinforcement dot get propped uh, and also dealing with stuff over here that's um sounds like easy thing to do but it's actually not so easy uh so he is going for interesting combination. You see these uh, ravagers. Now Arana is going. He doesn't want uh, toxic nest over here because he is better to keep them from for the poops. <coughs> okay, wipers are good. I believe he will not be adding air units. Okay, there is only one overseer. I kind of don't like this. I would make at least two. Because if this one gets killed and then Zeratul comes, then it's kind of trouble. Uh, it's brooding corruption. Okay, he didn't want devouring scourge. Yeah, I understand that brooding corruption has some banelings, but no scourge. And if you get your viper scourge, that's not good. So I I kind of understand why I chose this composition. Okay. Propagators also cannot attack under the disabling clouds so that's why it's so important to, to have them okay oh yeah he actually made roaches to to make ravagers sorry so they didn't uh, keep like two two did get uh, several roaches but uh, just for the case you have uh, you lose a brutalist but then you have like uh, six seven uh, roaches that are just uh, i mean they are pretty much waste of bio. okay okay see now let's go his brutalist but they are it needs to be uh yeah, yeah i have to i don't want to lose this and uh that's too many heroes just for brutalist to deal with we have nova yeah nova can snipe them so raynor is not a problem but nova is okay you can see this works pretty good now he added mutalisks and now he's making some devourers the counter air stuff and also the corrosive acid is good like anti-armor to oh that was close 
Now we have Zera tool. Okay, this. Uh, be careful with this. That's the only overseer. Okay, so nice to be very careful. Primarily not to get propagated over here, but also not to receive too much damage from the from the heroes. Okay, so uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, nuclear launch. So you can see that. Uh, oh, I can still nuke. The only thing I believe that can stop Nova from nuking, unless, unless you kill kill her before, like when you Alarak, you can you can kind of mind bless her before nuke lands because it takes I think five seconds. But also Alarak, if you if Alarak throws her because she has to stand still while nuking, Alarak sees knockback wave on her, she will lose the nuke. So that's the thing. Uh, okay. I believe. Okay. He's now adding more mutas. Now oh, there is a prop, but spotted. It's been spotted. Okay, careful here. Mutas. Does he have a. Oh, he doesn't have muta upgrades, so. I would have more than into guardians, but I think. Might have be having another deal. Okay, so now that overseer died, and you can see Zeratul is here. Zeratul is here and dealing damage, and here I think notice Zeratul so just clouding everything here, not to take too much damage while well, he is uh, making, I believe, more overseers. Oh, oh, they are coming now. Okay, now he'll finally. Ooh, 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 ooh that was uh, unfortunate. Okay, Zeratul is, is still alive here. So, but he is focused on the front, well, Zeratul is out of the detection again. Okay, finally Zeratul goes down. The Zeratul dealt a lot of damage. <coughs> okay, Artanis will uh, reconstitute. Uh, by the way, let me pause this. Let me actually check something. Uh, can I select Artanis? Oh boy, I cannot select Artanis now. Okay, let's... Uh, Resume. Okay, I believe I be able to select how much astralin. Uh, nearby friendly units for 300 life and 200 shields. Yeah, it's a lot more than normal and a lot more than you had an Artanis. Die. Okay, 200, 200. Uh, when you play as Artanis in Exoscope, uh, lightning dash deals 100 damage. So yeah, the astral wind. Artanis is the tankiest hero. Nominally, it's Kerrigan, but it's with because of the. Astral Wind and, uh, and the Resurgence, it's actually Artanis. And Resurgence, I believe, deal 100 damage. Okay, so as you can see, he is now getting the upgrades for Mutas. So he is planning to actually keep the Mutas, not Guardians. Which is kind of interesting, but okay, Mutas is Sundering Glaive. I mean, okay, Sundering Glaive um, doesn't help against props, and actually most... Uh, I think none of the heroes are armored, so... I think Guardians would be a better choice here, but at least the Mutas are cheaper. Uh, need additional money to... Uh, to uh, get... Uh, guardians, and also the upgrade. Although Guardians have only one upgrade, that's the range upgrade, and... Uh, Mutas have three. Is now getting the second the vicious glaive. Okay, fancy dealing with this. So you can see now he has uh, thirteen ravagers in one. Uh, gr well, is that all ravagers in this group? No, or some other units too. Probably maybe leviathans. He has vipers separately. No, leviathans are here, so he actually has three groups of units. And no, this is kind of messy. You have to be careful of a lot of stuff. But he is kind of managing pretty good. Okay, Arana is still taking damage here. But no, okay. Cloud. Dominator cannot do anything under a cloud. Okay, this has been some. Oh, nothing. Okay, oh, 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 o
propagated. Oh, he had to resume. Okay, something went something went bad. Oh, and he actually. Okay, let me let me. Hmm, even this. So he, these guys actually went there and he sent them back, but he started the bonus for some reason. I think this was a meme. He started the bonus, and now these harass bonus harass waves will come here, and this now the now this pretty much is a lost base, and. Uh, Okay, so he didn't take the bonus. He, he just started it. He didn't have. Pl he has no plans of any, every uh, defending any time. But he now builds hatchery over here. So this was on purpose. Okay, oh, these guys are. Uh, these guys will get killed. Okay, won't. Okay, good. That's a Kerrigan. Oh, 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 apocalypse! Oh, oh no! Oh no! That's a. Uh, that was 300. But okay, 300 damage. All of the units can actually, if they are fully. Biomass can survive that. Nuke deals a lot more. So Apocalypse they can be survived. Okay. Okay, it's 10 toxic. Okay, that's uh, 5 points in that. So you can see now his base is getting ravaged and they will be completely destroyed. Uh, that's I think he was... Uh, I'm pre pretty, pretty sure he was memeing at this point. So you can see he has uh, his army supplies uh, below 100. But it's still very strong army. I think he lost most. Uh, okay, yeah, he still has ten. Just you gotta keep send this away. Okay, now the double. So you can see these guys are okay. At, uh, it would be pretty bad if this would retreat to this thing. Because now you can see props are here, but they don't know about this base, and this is what keeps him alive. Now this he doesn't even fight these guys. Oh, 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 oh. Well, this doesn't work against mutas, <laughs> but okay. Now he has to kill these things. Okay, he is a three. Didn't take armor upgrades. Has armor upgrades are pretty much not required. Okay, now he actually has plus one for a. Uh, yes, he has what, plus one for ground stuff. But it was pretty comfortable, and the uh, it didn't even take uh, a lot of damage. Like, as uh, more than half damage still here. Okay, now just this wave to fight doesn't even have to because uh, it is done now. Uh, we have Zeratul here, we have Tychus, he can't produce anything anymore. Nova is sniping, but it's uh, it's done. I believe he would uh, be have enough to kill these heroes. Okay, so that's it. Uh, pretty interesting. In the end, you can see Symbiote still uh, most damage, but Ravagers did pretty good. And. Um, Toxicness, most of these damages to propagators. Low cost. Low cost are actually the nuisance because you have to be extra careful for them not to get prop. The war is also pretty good damage against the pressure towers and air, air units. Mutas. Yeah, I would have, uh, I think, more them into guardians. But okay, mutalists are actually faster so they can keep up with. Uh, maybe it, that was his reasoning to keep up with uh, the army. Hmm. <coughs> What and Viper? Viper 3.6% damage. Okay, they were around for a long time, so probably he even used parasitic bomb. I didn't see if he did. Uh, low cost, all oh, these low cost from. Uh, uh, well, separate. I mean, he didn't use swarm host. Well, low cost here se separately. And this 3.3%, this 1%. Hmm, I don't know about that. Swarm Queens, even 3.3% damage. <laughs> Nice, brutal is 14. Okay, so uh, that's uh, it. Let's see the overlay. Okay, so this is it. Uh, pretty uh, good. 27. So this is actually 27 plus those two or three that he didn't kill. 27 heroes. Um, okay. Uh, 89 props. Killed. He lost two brutes, but they were replenished by these ravagers. And actually, you can see that ravagers have a lot of kills. Okay, many of these were probably broodings, but uh, still uh, pretty good. Toxicness, Leviathan, Mutalisk. Okay, okay, okay. Pretty good game. No bonuses. None of the guys that solo this did bonuses, so it was uh, uh, a pretty good um, game. 
over here with abatur uh, and that's it guys i hope you liked it like and subscribe if you did like it and uh, thanks for watching and uh, you can also support me on patreon see you guys